just in time for Godzilla Day. Join Horror Master John Carpenter for a marathon of hand-picked Godzilla monster movies. Hi there, I'm John Carpenter, the giant Godzilla fan. Masters of Monsters, a Godzilla monster marathon. Hosted by John Carpenter. Streaming live November 3rd through the 6th. Hey, have you signed up for Baie.jp yet? No, what's that? Baie.jp lets you buy unique stuff from Japanese stores and websites. Tell me more. We were purchased on Baie. It's true, I had a great find on Yahoo Auctions Japan and it was these Godzilla toy puppets. I was able to bid on the auction through Baie.jp. Afterwards, they handled buying the item from the seller and stored it for me 30 days free in their Baiyi warehouse. After I got some more goodies, Baiyi packed it all up and shipped it to me here in the States. Use the link in my description to start a Baiyi account, and you'll instantly get a coupon for 2,000 yen to shop around with. Playtime! Yay! A whole video about a Koosh Godzilla toy. Here we go. This is a Koosh ball. This ball of rubber strands creating a burst effect. This ball was patented in 1987 and available two years later, and is still available today, now manufactured by Hasbro. I remember the Koosh Ball from the 1990s. Look at this commercial. It's multiple actors famous for different shows, all excited about their new Kooshlings with arms and legs and a face. Because balls of rubber strands need lore too. A whole video about a Koosh Godzilla toy, a collectible character's Koosh Godzilla toy to be exact. There seem to be a lot of collectible characters similar to those Kooshlings. I do a quick Google and I see Star Wars Koosh, Looney Tunes Koosh, and Disney Koosh. There's a whole lot of Koosh to go around. And if there's a thing that's popular in the late 1990s, you know the Tristar Godzilla is gonna get involved. He can't help himself. He looks like a Chia Pet Godzilla. He looks like Godzilla disguising himself as a bush to sneak up on the Roadrunner. He looks like the CGI Godzilla got rendered wrong in the middle. What do you even do with a Koosh Ball? I don't know, it, it's not like it can bounce or roll. I know what normal Koosh is fun to throw around, but you don't want to throw this Koosh, someone might get hurt. Like a lot of toys with the Godzilla license, the sculpt is fine. You got two arms, two legs, there's a novella under his tail. You can see the tail does a J shape. Something really disturbs me with how these three dorsal plates are sticking out. I don't know, it's cringing me out. I don't like it. If you just turned 138 years old, I'm afraid I have some very bad news. $5.99 for a ball that does nothing. I sound like my dad right now. The way the tag is attached is very annoying. It's actually tied on by a lot of rubber strands. So I cut the tag off and I'm left with this thick loop, which I guess you could use to tie this to stuff or you could just cut it like me because I wanted the extra long strands to do this. Boingy, 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 can't catch me, can't catch me. I'm American Godzilla, cheeseburgers, cheeseburgers. Yeah, you don't wanna throw these. These can't be for throwing. When I take a look at my childhood crush multiverse, I get no further insight at what I'm supposed to do with these Koosh things. Look, they all just kind of hold their Koosh toys up. Are these for display only? I guess she sends this one down a skate ramp. A whole video about a Koosh Godzilla toy. Why? Is it to prove a petty point that dumb videos I fart out perform better than the videos I spent months working on? Did Koosh pay me to do this video? Or is it? that I'm currently moving and most of my collection is packed, but I wanted to do a playtime video and the Godzilla Koosh Bowl is the only thing out right now. I came in like a wrecking ball. A boingy, boingy, boingy. <laughs>